sounds like a fucking lawnmower van. It does. It really does. I was gonna ride on the back of the windshield, I can fast. <laughs> How's it going guys? Just showing you where I'm at right now with the wagon. Um, well, here it is, the head's off. The block is pretty damn freaking dirty. The gasket was pretty shitty but I had no compression issues, no water issues. Um, it was just the, the number one cylinder spark plug. That was pretty shitty. See the See in there, maybe. See the threads are pretty much gone. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna replace the head with a ZC head. Um, everything should fit. The only thing I did notice was that. On this on this head bolt hole it doesn't go as deep in the block so I'm gonna have to get some washers for the bolt it's probably about half inch shorter than all the other holes and that's because on the head itself right there that hole sits a lot taller than the rest of them But I should be able to get the, the new head mounted on without any issues and then just have to get some of those washers for the ZC head. So here we are. The head is on. Um, everything's on. I swapped out the water next so that the, um, the hose will fit right back up. The OBDO distributor fit right up to the the ZC head, which is technically, I guess, the USA Y7. And I uh, got everything back on. Everything's hooked up for the most part. The issue with this was that the timing belt is stupid long, and it's just loose. So what happens is um, on the D15B2 or the non-VTEC heads, I mean this is non-VTEC but this is the spark plugs up front. So what that does is it moves the cam about two inches back and that makes the, the cam gear more center with the engine. And so the belt is too long. So I went out and I got the VX belt from the Civic, 92 to 95. Um, this is a 106 tooth, the VX is 103. So that's what I'm up to right now. But I do need to pull off the crank pulley, which is always a bitch. And I could not do it the whole day. So I had to borrow some heavy duty artillery and I went to borrow my friend's Milwaukee half inch impact. This thing has a thousand pounds, thousand foot pounds of torque. So we'll see if that breaks that pulley loose. If not, then I have no idea what's going to do it. All right, so there's the pulley. And we'll see if this is going to work. Oh, that's our first problem. Let's see if it gets in there. 